Hey everybody, here's another video. So this one's from Juan. Juan, hi Juan. Juan was asking the, the Brain Directory Support and Help Group on Facebook um, about these fields. So let's quick edit here. Advanced options, and basically he was asking about these fields. This couple here, just in case, if anybody wants to ask, this one is for you to set the URL of that specific member. So let, let's let's say that you don't want the member to have top level category here. You just the hungry ninja, which looks much better than the the top category, subcategory, location, etc., etc., etc. You can do this, um, and you can make make it fixed. There you go. And if the person comes to, I gotta refresh this one because the the view live profile needs to kick in. Now, if I click here, the URL, even though you don't see on the on the video, is plugins dot the developer club slash the hungry ninja. So I can paste it here somewhere. There it is, the hungry ninja. So it looks more professional the URL. But anyway, coming back to the to the fields here. So the question is, what in the world do these fields do, and what code can, code code am I supposed to put here or can I put here so for the first two you can put HTML CSS PHP or JavaScript code even my SQL code you can put there I wouldn't recommend it because it's gonna look really horrible here um, so I'm gonna show you what you should be putting there and then for the custom CSS code it's only CSS it's only CSS you're not supposed to be touching it so let's let's do something here since we're editing this one, uh, let's say that we want to change the color of this um, this um, H1, this text, basically. So I could do something like this. I could grab, let me see, we got a row there. Let me just copy a selector, put it here. Jeez, it's a big one. Um, We don't need that much. This is way too big. Let me just start removing stuff. We actually only need this like that. And we're gonna say color, um, I don't know, blue. That should be more than enough. Um, let's force it just in case there's something that won't allow me to change the color. I don't like forcing it. I don't like, in like there's a rule about not using important, but this is just for the video. Okay, so there you go. So you can see that by putting some CSS there, you're able to change stuff here. You're able to change text. You're able to change sizes. You're able to add images. You're able to you're able to do a, a bunch of CSS stuff, meaning animation, styling sizing all that on that specific member space like you could rearrange the whole thing if you wanted to just by using this but this one doesn't support what i'm about to show you here so a widget call so we're going to call a widget we're going to call it papa and here's another widget called mama and i want to show you because normally when you start adding JavaScript code, HTML, PHP, MySQL, th this is too small and it, it, it becomes convoluted. It's, it, there's too much there. So I don't need to go in here again. I just save that there. I'll just go to the um, widget manager. And then on the widget manager, we're gonna put Papa and Mama from Stranger Things. And Let's do here Papa. Actually, let's make Papa super big. Okay. That's all that I'm doing for now for you to visually see where this would show. Where it would show, what it would do. There's unlimited things that you can do there. Uh, actually, because both of the fields, the, the head and the footer support any type of code, you actually don't need to use both. You can just use one and that will uh, suffice. 
because now you have full control over that specific member's public profile through there. Okay, so let's refresh here. And you can see Papa at the top and Mama at the bottom, on the footer, on the footer, on the footer of the area of the content of the member, okay? This one is just on the header of the actual page, but the footer footer is actually in the footer of the, not like, like not down here, but the footer of the area of the content for the member. So what can we do here? So one of the questions that um, uh, Juan had was, I, he wants to put a pop-up here, okay? So let's look for a pop-up and I wanna simplify this. So pop-up, yeah, pop-up, well, uh, actually. And let's grab, well, let's go to, I hate, like if, for basic stuff, W3 school is good, but don't use it if you wanna learn more. Uh, let's copy this. This is just an example, quick example. Let's replace the whole thing. Save it. Okay. Refresh here, and now we have a button. Let me ref remove the admin sidebar. I, I want you guys to actually see this uh, properly. So here's, you could create a menu here if you wanted to. Uh, but we click there, huh, we get a pop-up, and we can inject the pop-up with stuff there. Um, for example, um, let's say that you want to dynamically change uh, the text here or, or the title. Because we're in that members um, page, we could play around with um, with the PHP variables for that member. So let me double check something. I don't know if it's user. Uh, company. Let me do it like, or it's users. We could say something like uh, says. something like that and here we can say uh, hey friend welcome to my profile click and we can add links and, and stuff here on this text whatever you want there um click there see the hungry ninja says hey friend blah, 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 blah. we can even create random messages if you want to uh maybe you don't want this thing here at the top so what I'm, again, I'm gonna show you um, another way of um, handling this part here. So we can put it, actually, we can put in another place. I want this to go like next to this, for example. Um, let me see what this, okay. It's good that it has a class there. Okay, let me copy that. Let's create a quick script here. Call it Pepe. Let's select Pepe. And then we're going to say Pepe. Um, let me see. At JSON. And that's, yeah, that's HTML that we got to do it. Okay. Um, we want to put it after the button will send message and stuff. Um, let me double check, boom, 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 boom. Mm, yep. So what should we be expecting here? So if I refresh the page, this button is supposed to go here. Okay, so I'm gonna refresh it. This, that's why I wanted to show you this part. And it's gone, it's gone, okay? The problem is gone is that when the page is being rendered, that's why it's th this part is very important. This button and all this content does not exist the moment the header starts being rendered. So I'm telling you the, a button that's being rendered at the top, and let's go to the code. I'm telling you, hey, look for this thing that does not yet exist. This button doesn't exist yet because it's rendered from top to bottom. And put the button, the open modal that was there and put it next to it. So because it doesn't exist, now it went to, I don't know, to ghost town or something. 
the proper way, the proper way of doing this part, for example, and that's why you need to know if you need to put the code in the header or on the footer, it's to put it on the footer. Because on the footer, everything at the top already got rendered. So let's go to Mama. No, Mama is going to solve the problem here. And yeah, let's just, yeah, yeah, let's just save all this. And let me go to Papa and remove all this. We don't need it. And now if I refresh, we should be able to see that button next to the send message. Okay, maybe not align all that because it doesn't have some styling, blah, blah, blah. But if we click on it, you get the same effect. Okay. So that's, that's a pop-up idea there. Okay. I want, that's one pop-up idea. And you can uh, create these buttons here, um, different buttons and different content, depending on the memory. Hope that helps. Uh, big hugs and think positive. Bye.